Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have these special re releases from Diageo here on my cask. Oh, that's not all for 2015. Um, there are a few more and I'm very, very happy that the distributor uh, provided a, a, a close to complete set of samples for the new uh, special release bottles. And uh, I'm happy to, to keep the other bottles closed because they are so rare uh, that we would well frustrate collectors as well as connoisseurs uh, if we would open a bottle just for tasting here. So the small samples uh, are very good for preserve one of those valuable bottles. Here we go. These are the samples. We have five. The, top row and the fifth one I'm afraid isn't available in our market it's a Diluane um, so it's missing here and uh, for others in the bottom line and today I do not have all those bottles uh, already here um, well they're on their way but uh, hopefully uh, every bottle is arriving and I'm able to place it here on the table beside the sample so that we have a look at the label and all the descriptions in it. Um, the particular bottles are, there's a small book uh, containing all the content. In former times uh, it wasn't there, so this is quite new, such a booklet. Uh, describing it. Uh, well, the price has increased a lot over the last years of these bottles, so there's more money uh, to print additional paper. So it's a Brora, 37 years old, and uh, well, we were looking very much for this Brora uh, because there had been so many bottlings before, starting at 25, over 30, 35, and now the top bottle has 37. And I'm afraid this will be one of the very last bottlings. I don't know if they have still enough casks to, to go up to, to 40 years. No idea. Then there's the Kelly, the second from the left. Um, the Kelly is the name of, uh, well, the short name of the Caledonian distillery, which was, well, in the end of the 19th century, uh, the most modern distillery in Scotland, in Edinburgh in particular, where uh, Alfred Barnard, uh, who visited in the late uh, 19th century, uh, the distilleries of the United Kingdom said that they have everything. Everything new is there. This is the, well, the blueprint for the new distilleries for the next century. Uh, then there's a Kalila, 17 years old. Here it's unpeated. This is the specialty of this bottle. And once in a year uh, they are filling a Kalila uh, unpeated uh, because they have a, a revision of the equipment and uh, every vat is emptied and cleaned. And uh, then there is no peatiness left in the recycled feints and the intermediate spirit receiver and so on. So you can drain everything, dump it, clean it, and then you start without a peat level, with unpeated malt, and then you have this unpeated Kalila, which is, well, seems to be necessary uh, for some blends in the market. Uh, then there's the Kleinlich Select Reserve. No age statement on it, but I'm afraid <laughs> quite expensive. Then the Diluane, 34 years old, as I said, I'm afraid I'm not able to get a bottle. Then the Dalvini, 25 years old. Uh, this is the fourth edition of the 25 years old, I think. There's still, uh, there are still some bottles on the market uh, of the old vintages. Uh, then the Lagavulin, cast strength, 12 years old. Uh, well, every year there's a new bottling, a new ABV. Um, and it has risen in price a little bit, up to well, close to 100, wherever you are. And uh, well, there are still bottles of the old vintages out on the market, so you typically have two or three uh, bottlings in parallel available. Then the Pitiweich, 
pretty wech, pretty wech, 25 years old. Uh, this was a, a test plant where, you, uh, where they did test distillings. They, it was close, very close to Mortlach, uh, where they had a whiskey pipeline running between both plants. Um, they did uh, test distillations and after I think 18 years they wrecked uh, all the, all the complete site. And uh, so this distillery is gone and from time to time there are some older bottles approaching the market and this is a 25 years old. And then, of course, not visible here, the Port Allen, 32 years old. I think it will be the annual reserve and then it will be 14th, 13th, I think is through, has gone already, 14th or 15th. Ah, I stopped counting when the prices reached 2000. So probably it will sell for 3000. No idea. A bottle, not a cast, no, a bottle. Uh, so I will look forward getting the other bottles in full also so that we have a look at the label and uh, well during the tasting see the complete bottle uh, and uh, there is uh, there are also uh, the boxes available they, they they are huge there are leaflets in it they are big uh, a lot of marketing on it on them but uh, for each bottle I will also show uh, the tubes no not tubes the boxes um, and then I will have a look in the book for every bottle and uh, then you can see that these bottlings are really special releases because close to nobody has the access to all those old casks because Diageo owns all those distilleries. They are the biggest proprietor of distilleries in Scotland. Most of them. A third, a third to a half of the distilleries belong to Diageo. So there are chances uh, to get those uh, extremely rare casks for bottlings. On the other hand, they try to have uh, always roughly 5,000 bottles uh, so that there is a visibility on the international market. Um, but there are some distilleries and some vintages where those numbers can't, they are not longer able uh, to provide those numbers of bottles. Uh, Port Allen, for example, the last ones were, I think, close to 2,000, either above or below. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to having my first rare, uh, rare selection. Ah, rare mods, nine. I forgot how they call it. Uh, I'm so aware I did not have. <laughs> Any whiskey today a special release well the first special release uh, I mixed it up there had been the rare malts uh, which were also from Diageo in former times yeah thank you very much for watching stay tuned there's more to come and please feel free to add your comments to our whiskey database and your comments about the tastings uh, you might have uh, are perfectly placed in our whiskey database and as well in our forum thank you very much